Sunday. And you're about to watch me eat it. Oh yeah, I'm gonna watch you eat that. 30 scoops of three different types of ice cream, 17 different uh, oh. toppings, varying from 17 butter toppings. to delicious rainbow butter sprinkles. Butterfingers? Rainbow sprinkles? Right. Six, five, four, three, two, one, go! Hey. Yeah, you suck on that Toblerone, you naughty bitch. Oh. Remember. You know that overeating yeah, is my oh, fetish, no. Matt Stoney. How f***ing dare you? Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. My name is Nigel Cushington. The only reason this channel gets any views at all. And I'll be hosting you for a new year. Fuck! Okay, let's fucking take two. Take two. Fucking Nigel. Two, one. Hello everyone, I'm Leon Lush, welcome back to a new video. As always, I am moist with gratitude that you would choose to spend a few minutes of your day here with me before going on to find something else actually productive to do. Will you just sit down and shut the f up? You're the backdrop, I'm the personality. F ah. Idiot. Today we're going to be talking about Matt Stoney, YouTube's most successful competitive eater. And I don't know that for sure, but from what I can tell, he's, uh, he's doing all right for himself. Now, Matt Stoney eats anything and everything under the sun and in unreasonable quantities, oftentimes clocking, you know, 11 to 20,000 calories in under 30 minutes or an hour, and he records himself doing it. And the reason we're going to make a remark about Matt Stoney is because, well, he's... It's time to stop! Pulling in a fuck ton of views right now. Not just right now, either. My bro Matt has been riding the view train for the better part of three or four years. I mean, he was up over... 1 million back in 2013 and he's just been on the steady climb super successful this video i did the intro to has uh almost 20 million fuck use 20 million god damn it can leon get a little sliver of that pie matt stone Jump i mean we're talking 31 million views in the last 28 days if we're getting premium ad rates on this family friendly content that matt stone's putting out we're, we're thinking maybe 70 80 thousand dollars in advertising revenue in the last month my dude has taken overeating which is a united states epidemic and turn it into a very lucrative career for himself where the rest of the country overeats and all we get is coronary artery disease and diabetes and a uh, complex when we look in the mirror. And somehow through the years of binge eating and unadulterated caloric consumption that this man has displayed, he has maintained the physique of a 14-year-old lesbian. And to that, I tip my hat to you, Matt Stoney, because I have spent my entire life trying not to be a fat slut. I mean, just eating a bowl of steamed broccoli, I can start to feel my gut grow a little bit so i don't know what your secret is but you turn it into some serious benjamin stacks and i love you for it anyways before moving Whoa, on i just want to talk briefly about excuse me what did i what did i tell you about interrupting me when i talk this better be fucking good just roll the clip already you insufferable windbag <laughs> okay wow all right well you heard the man just roll the roll the clip i thought they were giving me a bag or something it's <laughs> a straight aluminum that right there is two hundred and fifty-five dollars and fifty-five cents of St. Louis barbecue pork ribs. Two hundred and fifty-five dollars spent on St. Louis-style baby back ribs. This, to me, is exactly how every food porn should start. And that reminded me how convenient and easy Dollar Shave Club is. For those of you who never heard of Dollar Shave Club before, they're kind of like a subscription-based service. You let them know how frequently you want stuff, but they ship their great razors and shaving products straight to your doorstep. So Matt's getting the Dollar Shave Club money right now from this promotional spot in the beginning of his video. I mean, you take one look at his face, it looks like a couple of displaced pubes up there. You know what I'm saying? Just not in his genetics to have a nice beard. I'm over here, I use Dollar Shave Club all the time, great product, not getting paid a dime. So if you're watching this Dollar Shave Club, what the fuck's the subscriber requirement and where do I sign? Because I want that Dollar Shave Club motherfucking money. Hashtag get Leon sponsored by Dollar Shave Club. 98, uh, no problem. 99, 100. <laughs> 100 barbecue. So he's got the hundred ribs stacked up on a plate, and listen, I I just gotta take a time out to appreciate how absurd this is. I mean, the dude's gotta be about a, a buck twenty, soaking wet with change in his pocket, and he's got a plate of ribs there the size of his upper body. 
I mean, I have had my fair share of binge eating sessions, and I love a good barbecue, but I don't think I could get through half that stack without violently vomiting all over myself. Because these are St. Louis style ribs, they're supposed to kind of stick to the bone, they're not really fall off the bone ribs. So I can't do my traditional like techniques and stuff. That I do at rib contest, but um, I mean, is there anything worse than not being able to implement traditional rib eating techniques when you're trying to throw a hundred St. Louis style ribs down your throat? I mean, this is no joke. My heart goes out to the guy. Mm. Just over 20 minutes and we have hit the halfway point at 50 ribs and Matt Stoney is keeping up a remarkable pace. If this was me, I would be face down on the floor clawing for life right now and he's acting like it's just a little bit of a snack during the afternoon. Just a little snack. I'm just having a little 50 rib snack. What are you doing over there, you little pussy? Oh, not eating 100 ribs? Get a life, loser. <laughs> I think this is the biggest one. I know the whole pile, that took forever to finish. He's Tone rounding the stretch. corner on the last lap. 10 rims left, 44 minutes on the clock, roughly. Yeah. Showing great promise, but Matt Stoney slows down a little bit here in the 90s. We'll do it. Six minutes, 10 rims. Only two rims left. The crowd goes quiet. <laughs> oh man, just a remarkable accomplishment. Congratulations, Matt Stoney. You have officially eaten over 15,000 calories and if I had to guess, 45 to 50 grams of sodium in under an hour. I, for one, am jealous. I've never wanted to eat a fucking spare rib so bad in my life, but uh, I, I, to eat a hundred of them would be... I'm gonna cut this out and post. Maybe I'll leave. To eat a hundred of them would just be unthinkable. I could never even come close. So for that, I, I think you deserve 30,000, 30 million motherfucking views a month. Jump. So that's pretty much it. Uh, he's built his channel around eating unreasonable amounts of food, all sorts of food in short periods of time. And he's really got a stranglehold on the uh, overconsumption of food market on YouTube. And kudos to Matt Stoney. I'm not hating on him like, you know, some of my videos, Lele Pons and all these Instagram comedians and all that bullshit garbage. Uh, I'm just impressed. It's remarkable how much he can eat, being is the size that he is, and then uh, also <laughs> weighing like 130 pounds. I can only imagine what his heart looks like. Or maybe he just purges. Maybe he just goes into the bathroom and fucking <laughs> After every video, that's, I mean, I feel like that would be the move right there, but then that gives you problems with the esophagus. I don't know what he's doing, but he's killing the game. And uh, it's no secret why he keeps it up. I did forget to mention that he is a professional competitive eater in real life too. He has some records for all different types of food. And he, I think over the past several years, fuck, fuck, learn to talk, idiot. I think over the past several years, <laughs> took his skills online and has really turned probably his main source of income into this YouTube thing that he does now. So barring any, you know, major heart attacks or strokes, I wish Matt Stoney uh, years of high calorie content success. Bravo. What are we doing now? What are, what are we doing now? You want to know what, what's it look like we're doing? We're going down to the comments, bitch. His digestive system is fucked up. <laughs> I have to imagine this is at least partially true. Rip his toilet. Yeah, no shit rip his toilet. If I ate a hundred St. Louis style ribs, my bathroom would look like the aftermath of Hiroshima. Pork has worms in his meat, don't eat him. Islam is the true religion and thank you. Powerful stuff. If you're going to do this, please make it vegan. Do tofu, you fool. Just get the fuck, get the fuck out of here. Go find another channel that does fucking 15,000 calorie tofu rib challenges and fuck off. And finally, my dear friend, Jay Love says this. I really don't understand how he's not my 600 pound life right now. <laughs> I, I also don't understand. This guy should be at least 500 pounds. Uh, bulimia? I don't. I, I don't know how. To, I don't know how he does so it. So that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for all the support recently. Means the motherfucking world to me. 
uh, if you could do me a favor and just, just step outside of your of your computer room or wherever you are, whether you're in your bedroom, on your phone, whatever the fuck you're doing, however you're watching this video, I don't I don't care how you're watching it. Just do me this favor. Go into the kitchen. Okay, reach into the vegetable drawer where your parents keep the vegetables. Grab yourself an eggplant. You're going to want to cut that eggplant in half and then scoop out the inside of the eggplant and then use the eggplant skin uh, as a condom and then fucking hip thrust the shit uh, out of that motherfucking like button. And if you're a female and you can't, well, you can still just use the eggplant as a prophylactic somehow and do the same thing for me. I'd appreciate it. Until the next time, well, oh, hold on. We got to see what Nigel <laughs> has to say before we go because his opinion fucking matters, not. You know, people will eventually find out that I'm the wife you refer to in your videos. Uh, oh, that's okay. This is, this is awkward. Uh, okay, this is. I'll see you. I'll see. I'll see you guys soon. All right. All right, guys. T um. Um. Take care, guys. Yeah. Yeah.